What's going on everyone? Uh, so in this episode what we're going to do is something that's not exactly car related. It's more uh, maybe chemistry related. So what I'm going to do, uh, this is not the first video and probably won't be the last video that you see. Uh, it's called electrolysis. Uh, basically you're using an electrical current. In this case you're using a, a current to remove rust. And what I did this to, um, I found an old uh, wrench. Uh, I think we got it from like a garage sale, one of those big boxes full of tools. And so it's all rusty. You can see in this first picture, uh, I already dunked it in water and then I realized I should probably take some pictures and some video. But this is what it looked like. It was really dark and covered in rust. And I tried sanding it down with like a, a gray scuff pad. But as you can see, it sort of got like the surface rust out, but then you could see all like the black pitting and stuff. So that's all in there. I couldn't get rid of it. So I just kind of set it aside. And then I, I realized I could probably use this technique to maybe try and get it clean. So this is kind of what it looked like. It's all like brown and black and all ugly looking. But anyway, let's get into the tools you're going to need. So you're going to need a bucket of water, a car battery charger, uh, some sort of metal to use as a ground and washing soda. So a bucket of water, I used a five gallon bucket filled almost to the top. Um, you're going to need some sort of metal to use for a ground. I used a piece of rebar. And then you're supposed to use washing soda. Uh, I used baking soda and it turned out fine. Maybe washing soda would uh, speed out the process. I'm not sure. I'm going to have to try it next time. And then you're also going to need a car battery charger. Uh, so the one I had has some sort of safety mechanism and it wouldn't let me connect the charger directly to the rod and the part so I had to connect it through a dead car battery I had so it was basically charging the car battery and then I was redirecting that current to the part and the grounding rod so because electricity flows from negative to positive you're going to want to connect the negative end of the battery charger to the part you want to remove the rust from and then the positive end of the charger to the to the ground, which is kind of backwards because black is always ground and red is always power. But you want um, the current to flow from negative to positive. So you want the rust to be taken off the part you're trying to clean. In my case, it was the wrench. And before you actually go ahead and do this, I do have to warn you, you are playing with electricity and water and then those two do not mix well, so be very careful. And then make sure you don't have any pets or children around when you do this. So that is my disclaimer. Use common sense. Make sure you to keep any kids and pets away from this. So this is what the setup looks like. The positive end of the charger goes to the rebar. The negative end goes to the part. You wanna make sure that's submerged completely in water. And then I'm not sure if it matters if it touches the bottom of the bucket or not, but I tried to make sure it was, wasn't touching anything. It was just kind of floating in the middle. And then this is what it looks like after you hook up the power. And there you go. You can see it's sort of like bubbling off the part. And then this is, this is what it looks like. Once you hook up the power, it's just going to sit there and bubble. And then I came back half an hour later. And this is what the bucket looked like. So obviously something is happening. I have no idea what's happening inside. You can't see anything anymore, but you could still see the bubbles. It's still, there is some sort of chemical reaction still going on. So what we're going to do is we're just going to let this sit. I let it sit for 24 hours. So I just set it up one afternoon and just let it sit there overnight and came back the next afternoon. And then I took out the part and cleaned it up on a wire wheel on our grinder. So I cleaned that up. Most of the, like, the big rust was gone. I just cleaned up just to, to smooth it out a little bit. And then I wiped it down with uh, WD-40 to kind of put a protective layer on it. And this is what it looks like. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video and tune in for more.